Hi, it's Adam, the Collections Coordinator for the Cindy Hughes Museum of Dentistry, and we're doing another artifact feature for Storeroom Discoveries today. So what you see here are all different kinds of ways that you could brush your teeth. So today when we brush our teeth, we commonly will use something like this, which is a toothpaste in a tube. But when we first saw marketed oral care products, we would have had something like this one here from 1880, which is a tooth powder or a dentrifice. This one was from England and was made in the late 19th century. And then we have one like this from Colgate with an antiseptic claim, 1906. And this one is reflective of the time it was produced. This one is from Pebeco and it's called the War Time Metal Saving Container. It was made of cardboard to save metal for the World War II. And today we're seeing a resurgence of tooth powders. This one here has charcoal as the main ingredient and this one is only from 2019. So we're seeing a resurgence of that. And these would have been used by dipping a wet toothbrush into the powder and then brushing the teeth that way. One we wanted to highlight today is one called Dentocillin, which was produced by Andrew Jurgens' company in late 1950. And it was only on the shelves for a short amount of time. The main ingredient in this one would have been penicillin, and this would have helped with claims of preventing tooth decay. They did a two-year study which claimed that out of 400 children, they saw a 75% reduction in tooth decay with their products. But dentists did not necessarily agree, and their claim was that when you applied it topically and it was brushed away after a short amount of time, it was not effective. And FDA complaints in 1951 led to these products being pulled from the market shortly afterwards. 